Changing fractions to decimals, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages. It's always very easy to change decimals to fractions, correct? For example, a little side note over here. You know, if you have 0.8 and you want to make that a fraction, it would be what, Madison? Um, 8 over 10. 8 over 10, yes, 8 tenths, and it would reduce to whatever, 2 tenths or whatever that is, no 4 tenths out of it. But what about when you have the fraction like 3 fifths? I don't know why my board is so today. I'm not sure why. If I asked you to change three fifths to a decimal, I will entertain any sixth grade mind notions. Of course, understanding you've only been alive 11 slash 12 years. Wait, 13? Are you late 13 years? Yes. Some of you have been 11, 12, or 13 years, and your mind probably has not really developed to the point of really thinking really deeply here. Anybody? How do I change 3 fifths to a decimal? Wow, really? I've stumped you at this simple level? No. You may know what it is. I'm not concerned about what it is. I want to know how to change it to what it should be. Madison? No. Zach? Take the top finger and put it to the right of the decimal and then put the bottom of the finger to the right of the finger. Okay. First of all, Zach said this. Take the first. So Zach is thinking that three fifths is the same as thirty-five hundredths. Please, please, please forget you ever heard that because that is so far out of what would be real. Don't do that. That is not right. Caleb? Uh, you change the five to two. And multiply the okay, two ways you can do this, and one of them Caleb just hit on. Because decimals only deal in tens, hundreds, and thousands, if you can change this bottom number to be a ten, a hundred, or a thousand, life is good. So three-fifths is nice because it does change to tenths pretty easily. You get five times two or three times two. You get six-tenths, and that's very easy to make a decimal because it's six-tenths. Okay, that's one way to do it. Sometimes it gets a little harder, though, when you do something like this. What about 3 25ths? Well, you can't change 25 into a 10, but you can change it into 100. And as 100, it would be times 4 times 4, 12 hundredths, right? So your answer would be 0 0.12. Okay, if you can pick those two ways, that is all way good and fine. But what happens when you get to a decimal like 3 eighths, which doesn't do 10, doesn't do 100, it actually does do 1,000, but we're going to pretend like we don't know that. Any thoughts on this? Oh, no, Zach, it's not 0.38. Although, actually, it is. You round up, but it's not. Are you going to say that? Please don't say that. What were you going to say, Zach? Because maybe multiply by 308. And get 24, and that's my answer. Did that work for this? 3 times 5 is 15? No. Uh, no, no, no. Rarely in math can you just randomly start doing mathematical things to find the answer there. Um, well, let's go back to this, children. Let's think about fractions just for a minute. If I gave you this fraction, and I told you to simplify that, what is that simplified? Chase. Uh, what did you do? So, say that again, except stop after the word just. Say it again, except stop after the word just. I said, how did you do that? You said, I just. That. Yeah. Just stop with that. Divide. A fraction is nothing more than a division problem. So if you take this, but remember it's the bottom gets divided into the top. You can change this into a decimal by dividing the bottom into the top. And there's a decimal at the end of the three, and you just keep adding zeros till it works out. 
3, 8 doesn't go into 3, but it does go into 30 3 times, which is 24. It does go into 67 times, which is 56. And it does go into 40 five times. The decimal equivalent, if you have 3 eighths, the decimal equivalent to that is 0.375, which Zach is going to make the point that that's awful close to 3 and an eight, but it isn't. It just happened to be that was that, that case there. Okay? Even if you have something like this, uh, you know, 7 over 30. Okay. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, sixth graders, using the sixth grade intellect, you could tell me probably the decimal that it could be close to. What, what, what would be a reasonable guess? Going back to the, if you can change the bottom into 10 or 100, what would be a reasonable guess? Lauren's looking at me like, well, Lauren, 30 times what is close to 100? Three. So if you multiply seven times three, you get. So the answer I can tell you is going to be close to point two one, or have a two in the water. Or it's going to be close to that. Let's see if that's true. It doesn't go into a whatever, so I have to do what? I divide thirty into seven. So I put a decimal, add zeros until it works out. Now I don't know if this is going to work out. If it doesn't work out, you can stop after you get to like 100 decimal places. How many times does 30 go into 70? Somebody? Yes. How many times does 30 go into 100? Three times, which is 90. How many times does 30 go into 100? Three, which is 90. How many times does 30 go into 100? Three. At what point do you think I should stop? Have we talked repeating decimals? No. So we'll stop right there. This one didn't work out. I just did an example. Your answer, technically, when you write it like this. So our, our answer, point two one was awful close. Lauren, thanks for giving that advice. Now, if the book, there are some places where it says to use a calculator. If it says that you can skip those problems, we'll get to calculators later. Worst thing that ever happened in math is calculators. But let me give you one more to do here. Uh, how about um, change 3 and 3, I don't know, 3 and 7 fifteenths to a decimal? Well, don't let the whole number scare you because it's just going to be 3 point something because you need to change 7 fifteenths to a decimal. Can anybody give me a reasonable guess as to what 7 fifteenths would change to as a decimal? Using the Lauren Ulrich what's close to 100 sort of method. 15 times what is close to 100? Anybody? Nobody can tell me 15 times what is close to 100? Oh, boy. So much work to do, so little time. Connor, 15 times what is close to 100? 15 times 6 is 90, so you're awful close. So you know your answer is going to be kind of close to 0 0.42, which, by the way, you should you should have been able to tell me that why, for what reason. 7 15 is also close, to, very close to what fraction? One half. One half, because it'd be between 7 and 8, so you know that your decimal is going to be close to that. So here we go. Let's do the math. 15 into 7. I can tell. I hope this one works out because I was hoping with my picking up one of the 5, it's going to work out. 15 goes into 70, what? 4 times? That's 60, right? 15 goes into 100, what? Don't say 6. Is it 6? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and what do I get? Guess what I'm going to keep getting? Same thing. <laughs> so my answer, let's just, for whatever reason, say 4.6. I should have picked a better example. Do you think you have any problem with that? So if it says use a calculator, you can skip that part. They don't give you very many because they don't believe in calculators either. 
They just did it because the world told them they had to. It's just the way it is. We shall stop there, ladies and gentlemen. What is